one just thought i'd pick up the vlog because today guys me and mum have decided to come out to nottingham to do some autumn shopping i feel like the weather has been that miserable the last couple of weeks that we just we, we are skipping ahead of the season now aren't we mm. it feels like autumn might as well be autumn mm. And all the shops are saying autumn, and we don't want to miss out basically. So, to get us in the mood and to go alongside the weather, although today the sun has actually made an appearance and it is quite a nice day, isn't it? Today, yeah. feel like I'm actually feeling it's summer. Warm. Yeah, it's warm. Um, but yeah, anyway, we thought we'd get out and just do a little bit of autumn decor shopping today because, as I've already explained a million times, and I am repeating myself, bless you. Oh. Um, <laughs> the autumn decor is out in the shop so if you want to get any nice bits to decorate your house with you need to shop now it's just like christmas i say this every year if you want to get the best christmas stuff you have to shop in october there's no point rocking up to the range <laughs> now, Mom, there's no point rocking up to the range on the first of december everything's gone and that woman said that in the range of the day didn't she Mom? Yeah. she did say to us because i felt like a bit stupid buying all this like pumpkin stuff and she was like no you literally need to shop now it's like Christmas yeah. comes in October and we don't really get too much more stock in so you have to get what you say so first first destination is home sense I did actually have a look up the one at Ferguson retail and it wasn't that good it's normally really good there it's normally better than this one I think they're leaving it later to do it though yeah they didn't have a lot in so anyway I thought we'd go to the big home sense this is like a a home sense store on its own whereas the other one's like a tk maxx mm. home sense upstairs um so yeah i can see it all out in the window exciting times and then i think we're going to go to try and hunt down a good matalan because again it's not really a great one in in leicester no the one in leicester town itself is awful i don't even think they have home stuff in anymore and then there's one in Belmont lees which is hit and miss but i had a look the other day and it was a bit mere so yeah that's what we do where else can we go for autumn is that it home bargains yeah, they some, I don't really know if they've got theirs out yet. And B&M's there, but I don't mm. think... Do they do? They don't really do that much, do they? Mm. Anyway. Next, next do. Yeah, next do. Oh, the, no, there isn't a next do. Why no. do I think there was a next do? Anyway, right. I'm going to shut up. Let's go. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I don't feel like Home Sense was Home Sensing today. I felt so disappointed. Um, as you can see, all the stuff is at the front of the store. They had all the candles out, but in my opinion, I wasn't like loving them. They just felt very Halloween y rather than autumnal. What's mum found already? A oh, mushroom. You're so into the mushrooms this year, aren't you? That's so cute. I feel like mushrooms are in this year, though, aren't they? Yeah. Like, I've never seen so many mushroom things. Oh, look at this. Cat mug. I love that one. That one's cute. They've got all the mugs there. Happy Halloween. Oh, that's cute with a little doggy on. Yeah, I like that one. That one's cute as well, Mum. Oh, I think that's the one you picked up, this one. Yeah. That's well nice. How much are these? Six pounds. Six pounds? Not bad, is it? Yeah. Mm, they've got some lovely ones. Some spooky hey, ones. Boom. Oh, I love that. Which is brew. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, Brittany bits, which I'm loving. That's well nice. 19 99 It's quite spendy, isn't it? Oh, love the acorn. That's nice. How much is that? 6 99 no, That's not a bad price, is it? What else do we like? I mean, no, that's a display and a half, isn't it? <laughs> Where are you going to put that? The pumpkins that they got. This is cute, Mum. Do you know for a centrepiece? It's pumpkin bottom. Oh, yeah. I want to see the one behind it. Can you have a look? Oh, that's nice. Don't you like that? I like that one. Better. I can't really pick it up. So this is $16.99. And it's weird because that's like a foamy, isn't it? It's like a pumpkin bottom. And then... But that is autumn as well. I mean... That's autumn, yeah. Yeah, nice here. Yeah, I think I prefer this one, to be fair. Yeah, I've got some nice little bits in. What else have we got? Yeah, that would be good for either maybe a centrepiece or you could put it on your coffee this table. It's more plasticky than... Is it? That What's one's... that one? Oh, that feels more like a pot. Pot, yeah. Mm. So I've got a few baking bits in. Oh, they're cute. Some kiddie ones. Let me try and have a little look. But without messing up the display. Oh, pumpkin ones as well. Four ninety nine. I think that's really good value. You get 50, 50 sorry, in those. What else do we have? A lot of spooky bits. And then we've got all the froze. Knitted chunky froze with bats on. Quite a selection. Oh my god, that's nice. 29 99 though. 
like embroidered pumpkins on. I really like that. Got any others? Oh, I think that's got pumpkins on. Oh my god, that's well cute. All right, let me um try and put this on. <laughs> Mum's not happy. Someone's picked up a mushroom tea towels. How nice is this um blanket? It's got all pumpkins on, but in different colours. Oh, that's a nice wreath. That looks very pricey though. I'm not sure how much that is. $24.99, that's not even that bad. Mm. That's pretty, isn't it? Joe, if you just want a bit more girl there. I've got that. Yeah, I feel like I got this in the sale years ago for like £2 oh, something. Do you know when they have the big sale on? Yeah. This is oh, pretty yeah. as well, I like that. And again, you could put this, Joe, you know, like on your coffee table yeah, and then put a big candle in there. That's not a bad value as well, is it? She's got loads of stuff in her basket. <laughs> Look, it's first come, first serve. This, just hang this on the door. It's 9 99 I've got some really pretty wreaths, Mum. I really like this one. <laughs> How nice is that? I feel like it needs a few more white pumpkins added to that. Mm. That's really extra. I don't think that'll even fit on my front door. What else have we got? There's not loads, loads out yet, is there, Mum? Yeah, have they got another farm? I don't know. Should we go and have a little explore? Right. Might be some... There's no more pumpkins. No more mushrooms. Are you sure? Oh. There might be some near the checkout. Mm. What other ones have they got? Schools. I feel like I'm more autumn than schools. Mum, have you seen these um, little bacon things though? They've got loads of nice mm. bacon bits. Oh look Mum, they've got another one. Oh, yeah. £12.99. <laughs> the eucalyptus one is quite nice. That is £12.99. And then they've got this one with the hide ranges on. How much is that one? Yeah, do you know what? I've never thought to do like a burgundy mm. for autumn. You could do burgundy one year, couldn't yeah. you? Like or more orange and burgundies. Yeah. Okay, so Home Sense wasn't that successful. I feel like, considering it's late July now, they normally have a lot more mm. out in Home Sense, but I feel like they're a bit, a bit slack. Like, what do you think, Mum? Probably all sold him. But everything was going, wasn't it? Yeah. Mum's seen a um, mushroom tea towel that she really liked. We literally had one glance at it, went to like relook at it, it already gone. <laughs> Mum was gutted. You liked your mushroom <laughs> tea towel, didn't you? And what did you see? Oh, and I saw a. You saw it in the clip. It was a real nice knitted, um, just a throw with different colour pumpkins on. It was probably the nicest throw that there was there. And I was going to show Mum it, and it had already gone. <laughs> so. That was two things we liked, and <laughs> they'd already gone. Anyway, we've just traced over to Bullwell now and come to the retail park here. I'm not sure if I've been this one before. They don't have a Matalan. I don't think they have a Matalan in Nottingham Centre. Well, I typed it in and it didn't go up on Google. So, yeah, I've come to this retail park and I'm hoping the home section's pretty good because I know I've been to one that's like on the outskirts of Nottingham that's got a good home section. So, yeah, let's go and see if they've got any pumpkins. Oh, these are nice as well, Mum. Sorry, I was just gonna. These orange. Oh, Do you know, like for yeah. you, if you're always doing the table. Um, got nice bowls, six fifty. Little orange pumpkin. I could put soup in those. I love this casserole pot for twenty two pound. Also got some pumpkin tea towels, free set. And then they also have the matching. Where was it? Matching oven glove to go to that one. If you want to go neutral or if you want orange, I've got that one. Tea towels and that's that tablecloth. Table cloth. Um, they've got a couple of the woven placemats. I actually managed to get some of these online, which are five pound each. They've got loads of nice little mugs as well. That one for five pound. Again, I have already got that one. This one for five pound. Also got a little tea bag. What do you call this, Mum? Do you like you put tea bags on it? Yeah, What's tea it? Bag holder. Tea bag holder. <laughs> is that what it's actually called? Yeah. A mushroom. Love the mushroom. That's cute, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. Told you mushrooms are in the show. <laughs> <laughs> and then a glass pumpkin um, cup, which I really like. This is cute as well. Nine fifty. Stay cosy. They also do a mug, Mum. Do you like this, which has um, pumpkin something on? Yeah. I think it says like "Hello Pumpkin." What's this? Oh, placemats. Hello Autumn. Oh, placemats. Oh, that's quite cute. 
Okay, and we've also got some pumpkin towels. This is the one I saw, Mum, in um, Bermont Lee's Hello Pumpkin. How cute. Hello, pumpkin. Yeah, I like these ones. But I can't see this in a small one. Like, I love that. But I don't want a bath, a bath towel in that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're really nice. They're £6. Also got some orange face cloths. And then... I'm pretty sure this is the wreath that I got last year. It's 19? 19? No, that's a garland. Oh, that's the garland. They do a matching garland for it now. I think that's mine. Yeah, I feel like mine's slightly different, maybe. But yeah, the wreath's 30. The garland's 19. And they've also got some nice cushions. These are 12 50. This one's nice, Mum. Hmm. Like neutral, Joe, yeah. for your bed. That's 12 50 as well. These are really nice as well, guys. These little candle holders. Huh, 12 pound? They're nice. Should to go on your coffee table? Yeah. They've also got some bedding. Fry. Oh look, this is a duvet set, Mum. Do you know what, the really reason you'd be priced in here, like that's 12 pound for a single, for a king, it's 18. Hello. Yeah, got a hello autumn sign. Oh look, Mum, mushroom. Oh. A mushroom set. Mushroom duvet set. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for you. Why didn't you get one to put on your oh, bed? Yeah. Oh, look, Mum, you could get a fitted sheet as well. Yeah. I think they're all single. They're in sale. Yeah, I know. Single, single, single. No. Okay, we then went to the range and oh my goodness, the range is without a doubt the best place for autumn stuff at the moment, so you need to get yourself there. So let's just talk through some of my favorite bits. They had these gorgeous pumpkin bowls for 4 99 which I think I'd put some soup in, um, some wax melts for a pound and oh, this cushion, 9 99 but the quality was unreal. I really love the burnt orange color. This little sign for 4 99 as well, I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. And also that cushion, which I think is actually a doorstop. They also had some really nice candles. This gift set was 6 99 and they smelled so good as well, which is always a bonus. They also had this black serbin platter, which I actually thought was like a chalkboard or something at the beginning, but then I picked it up and realised how heavy it was. But yeah, I thought that would be really nice for any little autumn parties. Um, these pumpkin candles, we've got some for $2.99, $4.99, and they also had loads of like foliage and flowers. This wreath, I mean, it was quite pricey at $39.99, but it was absolutely huge. Um, these little glass like domes with little autumnal displays in. This pumpkin season candle, not only does it look the part, it's super aesthetic and clean, $4.99, but it smells so good too. Um, they also had these like wicker lights. Um, you can see them in the jar next to it. I mean, it's not a very good job in that little jar. They were $6.99, but they are so cute. Again, more wax melts for one pound. They also had so many like string lights. Those ones were four ninety nine, as you can see. And then they also had, wait, is that five ninety nine? That big pumpkin bowl. I might have to go back and get that. I didn't even realise that. Um, more candles, some like potpourri, which is four ninety nine. And oh my god, please just tell me how cute these little wax melts are in pumpkin shapes for one seventy nine. I just couldn't resist them. I got them. And then I also love these reef door hangers. Again, I needed one of them immediately for my autumnal reef. And then, yeah, just some more reefs. And then all the flowers, all the foliage, just everything to decorate your vases with, which I really, really appreciated. So yeah, I was really, really impressed with all these individual stems. I feel like they're around $2.99, which I don't think is bad price. Some places are like $4.99 per stem. So yeah, I feel like you could do a real affordable flower arrangement with a few of these. They also had a ton of different garlands, again, different budgets. I mean, I wasn't obsessed with these. I feel like there's some that you could definitely do bits with. I feel like some of them just needed a few things adding to. Uh, but that's the great thing. Like, if you get a more affordable garland, you can always add to it, add a few, um, I was going to say acorns. What are those things? Pine coats um, and more pumpkins. So I feel like... 
that's what I'm probably going to do this year. Then, oh my god, let's take a moment for this autumn tree, $14.99, which lights up. It also had these mini velvet pumpkins, which came in a free in different colours. I'm not sure how much these were priced at, because there wasn't a price, but I feel like they'd be quite inexpensive. I also really like this candle wreath. Um, this is a really good idea for maybe a centerpiece or on your coffee table, get like a little candle display going on in the middle of that. Um, and then they also had this absolutely stunning wreath with like a few little hide ranges on. Again, $27.99, so a little pricey. Um, also, how nice is that LED candle? You could use that actually for the candle wreath, so yeah. Oh. I also found this, $2.99, and apparently you can make your own wreath with it. Again, we have some more like picks, pumpkin picks. You could use these for wreaths, garlands, whatever. Another beautiful display sign as well that you could put somewhere around your house. And then we come to this end, which is very kind of like greenery, creams, and just more muted colors. So if you're going for a more like farmhouse vibe, this might be your kind of style. I really, really liked these little lights. How cute are these? They had just little leaves on, which I thought was stunning. I also really like these knitted pumpkins now they actually have um i don't know if i'm going to show you the back but basically you could attach these to a wreath because they have little clips on and again these were only a couple of pounds so really inexpensive I then took a trip to the Nottingham range because I just knew that they would have some other bits at the range in that Leicester didn't have and I was right, they had this gorgeous glass pumpkin jar for only $13.99 which I just think is absolutely beautiful. I have no idea what I'm going to put in there right now but I needed it. So I really like these orange eucalyptus vases, I thought they were really pretty. They had this Hello Pumpkin LED sign for $24.99 which I thought was really bougie um, and then they had kind of like more of the same but... One thing I did spot was that they had a nice display of mugs. I really like this glass pumpkin mug for 3 29 They also had this one for 2 99 which says pumpkin spice. Um, and then they also had this white speckled one. Again, they had some more flowers, a few different ones, which again, I didn't see in the Leicester store. And then they also had this Hello Autumn sign, which... I feel like you could use as is or you could paint it or do something with it. They also had so much arts and crafts autumn edition stuff in here. I couldn't get over it. So if you've got kids or if you just fancy doing some autumn arts and crafts yourself, definitely get yourself the range because they were all pretty inexpensive and there were so many different things that you could get like pumpkin candle making, crochet pumpkins. They also had loads of ribbons as well. I'm not sure what to use them for, but yeah, loads of like chunky autumn ribbons. Honestly, it felt like Christmas, but obviously autumn. I also really like this sign which says autumn leaves, cakes and tea. Okay, please just ignore my hair at the moment. I feel like even if I'm washing it fresh, I just can't let it down right now. I'm in that kind of like I don't even know what to call it, mood. I don't know, I just, I'm not loving my hair at the moment. I do this all the time, this is just me. Like I love my hair when I first get it done and literally for the first couple of months, I love it. But I feel like when it comes to the three month mark, no matter if I have a toner in between or what, I just need my hair re-dyeing. I always just feel my best after I've had freshly dyed hair and then yeah, I feel my worst after about three months and I'm just like over my hair and then I just feel like when it's down, it doesn't look right. Yeah, maybe I need to book in and um, just get like a bit of a refresh with my colour. I'm also just like a little bit bored of it as well now with the blonde. I'm like, do we start transitioning back to autumn hair and maybe go a little bit darker, but obviously keep some of the light because I do prefer myself a little bit lighter. Like I'd never go like full brunette. I'm sorry, I have totally gone off topic. Topic? topic i'm gonna have to open my door because it's so warm the humidity today is no joke and but i just thought i'd come back on because i'm in my car and i just remembered i didn't sign off the vlog yesterday you'll have saw me and mum went out doing a little bit of autumn shopping so we visited the range i was gonna say b&m we didn't go b&m home sense and that's lad why was that so hard um I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the best out of them three shops was 100% the range. As you guys know, I don't normally do autumn this early, like, it is very early, but after seeing the big display in the range, I was like, no, I need to get this video out and show you, because if you don't shop now, it probably won't be there if you go to get the stuff in, like, 
October, let's say. I know a lot of people decorate beginning of October for Halloween. Obviously, if you're decorating for autumn, I feel like you should be decorating on the 1st of September. That's just my opinion. So then you've got like a good couple of months of all your decor. Um, but yeah, anyway, so the range was amazing. Home scents, I mean... I'm really interested to see where Home Sense will go this year with the autumn decor, but at the moment it just felt very, it wasn't as autumn -y. it was more Halloween-y I would say, and also there wasn't a lot, like normally I feel like you go Home Sense in July and it's absolutely rammed with like autumn Halloween stuff, this year no, so I don't know if they're cutting down this year or if it's just coming a bit later, so we'll see, there may be a Home Sense part 2 visit later in the, later in the year, <laughs> I mean maybe in a few weeks time, do you know what I mean? Um, where else did we go? Matalan was good, but I feel like the Matalan I went to especially, it wasn't really all together. It was just, I mean, they had one little bit where it was all together, but yeah, there wasn't like heaps. Um, so I don't know if that's just been and gone already. Um, but they definitely had some really nice bits in Matalan and really affordable as well. Yeah, that's a lot for now, guys. Obviously, I know Next has some amazing bits in this year. And I'm interested to see if B&M and Home Bargains get any bits in too. So, we'll definitely take a visit to those places in the upcoming weeks and see what decor they've got. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. And I know a lot of you will appreciate this. With how the weather's been at the moment, I feel like it's kind of made everyone be a bit like, meh, over summer now. Let's just move on to autumn. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, there will be a haul coming soon because I have been collecting bits because, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? It's allowed because last year I didn't really go that mad. I was saying to mum, like, I feel like I just reused a lot of the stuff I've got because I have got to that stage now where I have got, obviously, a couple of big boxes full of autumn bits. Um, but this year I'm going for a different theme. So I've seen a lot of nice bits that I want to add to my collection. So that's what we're going to do. And also I'm thinking if I get really nice bits this year, oh my goodness, I'm going to sneeze. Um, the next year when we're in the new house, it's going to be so exciting to decorate and I won't have to go as mad next year. I mean, I say that now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye!